In today's Photoshop lesson, we want to answer this question. Does Photoshop have a way to see on the screen the actual print size of the photo you are working on before you print it? In other words, a 5x7 would actually appear and measure at 5 inches by 7 inches on my screen. I need this when I make business cards to check the font size. Okay, so let's see if we can answer that question. We want the screen to be the exact size of the print. So that should be quite easy, but first let me show you about rulers. They're right here, and Control r or Command r turns them on or off. If you can't remember that, you can always go View Rulers, which is right here. There's your Control r And that kind of gives you an idea. Like, see, this is 7 inches. This is 5 inches. You kind of get the idea what size this print is and you can zoom in it's way bigger than seven or five inches now because I'm zoomed in but the ruler still says seven inches so we actually want to make an actual size and we can simply do that by going to view print size we click on that now that should actually be seven inches across so I'll get my ruler that I have here just a regular stick ruler and I'll hold it up to the screen and I'm going to measure it Oh it's only five and a quarter inches across. There's something wrong here. This is not the actual print size. It's too small. Oh, I know what it is. It's the screen, screen resolution is set wrong. So let me show you something. We have to do a little bit of math, but I think you can understand it. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to right click, and one of the choices is screen resolution. I need to know how many pixels are going across my screen. And the answer is 1920. See it right here? 1920. 1920 pixels. Okay, good. I'll write that down so I don't forget. 1920. I'm going to go back to Photoshop, bring it up, and now when I go to Edit, Preferences, and the choice is Units and Rulers, or you, you, click there, and over here, Screen Resolution is 72 pixels per inch. We have to do one quick division, and that is, I have to measure my screen. How wide's my screen? Hmm. Let me get a tape measure. Now you can't see me do this, but I'm actually measuring measuring from the left to the right of the screen. It's 20.4 inches, almost 20.5. I'm going to say 20.4. So that's the two numbers we need. I'm going to divide 1920. That was the number of pixels we had by 20.4. And I, the answer is 94.1. Well, 94 will work fine. So I'm going to put in 94. This is, says 72. That's wrong. Put in 94 here. Now we have the correct screen resolution. You won't see anything different except the rulers will match. Let's give it a try. I'm going to say OK. Now when I go to View, Print Size, there we go. That should be seven inches across. I'm going to get my ruler up in my hand. I'm going to hold it up to my screen, and sure enough, it's exactly seven inches. And if I hold my ruler against the ruler on the screen, all the inch marks line up perfectly. They're actually one inch. Each one of these is actually on my screen one inch apart. So this is what a five by seven would look like. If I had a five by seven print, it would fit over the top of this perfectly. Now, back in the day, this is the zoom key, and they actually had more choices. They got fit screen. If I click on fit screen, fill screen, and they actually had print size, but they don't have that anymore. Let me show you a shortcut we can use that would actually save us some time here. We'll make a sh keyboard shortcut. So if we go file, I mean edit, keyboard shortcuts. Everybody see that? Edit, keyboard shortcut. I click there and it says keyboard shortcut. That's good. We go down here to view. I'll click right here. Now if we scroll down through the view menu, we just scroll on down. We're, we're going through all the options that there are. We'll finally get to the zoom. There we go. We're getting close now. Zoom in, zoom out, and print size. There it is right there. Click in this area and you. I typed in Alt plus F8. So Alt F8 is a shortcut key now to give me print size. I don't have to go to the menu anymore. If I click OK, I now 
all I have to do is hold Alt F8 and wham I got it also let's just say I make this print size I'm gonna go to image image size and let's say we make it 10 we say okay and now I said well I wonder what that would really look like if I was holding the print in my hand Alt F8 is our new shortcut and there we go that's a what I see on my screen is a perfect 10 inch across oh yeah and one last thing you might have wondered how did I get the view how did I make this red down here that's pretty easy let me show you how I do that if I go to edit but this time go to keyboard shortcuts just like I did last time but don't go to the keyboard go next door where it says menu sure enough there's the menu file edit image just like it says up here file edit image layer if I go to view I'll click on view and then I'll scroll down sure enough I'll go through all those other choices and when you get to the print size if you click here on the red you can actually see you can pick any color you want if you click in this area I picked red and I'll say OK and then from now on when I hit view it's going to be in red. I can change the color of each one of these if I wanted to. Okay, let's see how this may come in handy. If this is a, well, 10 inch print now, let's say we were to go to image, image size, and we wanted to print a wallet. So we'll click on wallet, and wallets are 3.5 inches by 2.5 inches. And we'll say OK. So now the photo has been down, has reduced to a 3.5 by two and a half, two and a half down here. Anyway, uh, we can zoom in, and make it bigger, but we want to make it actual size, just like it would appear if we were holding the photo in our hand. In this case, the wallet. Remember our shortcut, Alt F8. I'll click on that. Wham! There it is. That's the actual wallet size right there on my screen. Now, if you're watching a video of this, your screen might be bigger or smaller than mine, so it might not be accurate. But one thing we did notice is that the writing got too small. I can't read that. Even if I get up close, I can't see it. So that must be bigger. So that's going to give me a big help. I'll click on the text layer. I'll hit T for text. Oh, it's only 5 point. Let's try... I'm going to make it 10 point. Let's see what that does. Oh, that looks better. I'm going to hit V for the Move tool. I'll, I'll commit this. V for Move, and I'll move this over here. There we go. Now I can see the logo again. So as you can see, the print size could come in helpful in cer certain situations. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.